so you just read a quick little article on the main duties of welders, right? How many of you found something in there, like, I did not really realize that welders are responsible for this? Did anybody find? I would hope more first years and second year students, but there's probably some duties. Like, Sam, what is it that you want to be, again? Underwater welder and an industrial pipeline welder. Okay, so an industrial pipeline welder and an underwater welder. Okay, so have you guys heard of Mom and Joe yet? Has anybody heard of this? So in Fort Wayne, they are going um, 500 feet underground and building a tunnel to connect the three rivers. And they have this piece of equipment called the Mama Joe that we're trying to get a tour lined up for you and for construction kids to go see. And it is um, amazing. It's gonna be a five-year project to do this, but it involves a lot of what Sam wants to do as a, in her living. So some of you might wanna look at commercial welding. Some of you might wanna look at private welding. Here's what we're going to do. We're just gonna see what you know so far and how you can look at these different diagrams and draw conclusions from these diagrams. So do you see around the room all of the different posters that are hanging? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna number you one through six, and then I'm gonna give each group a color. So how many of you like to compete? Okay, all right. So. By competitive nature, we could turn this into a contest that two goes to the winners. That's what I'll do, and one goes to the losers. So now what you want to do is go to each board, and I'm going to give you two and a half minutes, so it's very quick time to think, at each of the boards to write down as many intelligent comments as you can. So for instance, when I hit here, it says write as many if-then statements as possible based upon this sheet. So, an if then, um, like Andrew, can you give me, give me an example of an if then statement? Mm -hmm. Sky, can you give me an if then? Um, it doesn't even have to be based on welding, it can be based on anything. Like, if I'm speeding, then I'm probably going to get pulled over. There you go. High five. That was a very good if then statement. Okay, so if I'm speeding, I'm probably going to get pulled over. That is an if then. So, number four is back here, number five is over there, six. So I'll give you a number and um, we will start. Now, here is what we're gonna do. Number two is on this board, by the way. So when you get here, you'll have to go there. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So five and six, you're boy, one person. All right, so ones are the blue team. And I want all ones to go over to number one board. Two's the green team, follow Andrew over to All right, so I'm gonna time you. When I say go, you have two and a half minutes. Everybody, show me real quickly with your fingers one inch. This is how big your letters should be on the board. Don't write like huge so that other people can't read it. Just one inch letters so that it's legible. We can read it from a distance, but you're not taking a whole board. Got it? Pick your best handwriter. All right, on your mark, get set. Two and a half minutes, intelligent comments, go. Does that make sense? Okay, so rotate to the next one. Okay, stop and rotate. Oh, are you supposed to be like... Uh, 
cross out other things. If it's wrong. Only cross out if they have something wrong. So make sure you read what they wrote because you don't want to repeat. Sorry. Did you get one? Okay. Is it dead? That was a joke. Just kidding. That was not two and a half minutes. Sorry. I'm sorry. You carry it around? Yeah. Wait, that's it? Yeah. That's all you can come up with, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Aren't there, is there any similarities to like the station or the tool? I don't think not really. No? It, wait, it ha either it has to be similar or it has to be different. Like where you sit. Yeah, because if, it, are they different stations? Do they use different machines like to hold the welds? Yeah, those are the kind of things. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Jason, you have amazing handwriting. Okay, now, stop wherever you are. You're, now listen very carefully. Your markers will travel with you, and we're just going to, I call this a carousel, because you know, like the rides. You're just going to go in um, counterclockwise motion to the next one. So you guys actually, I'm sorry, I have to come out and around just because this classroom is a little challenging. And what you're going to do, wait, everybody listen. What you're going to do is you're going to travel to the next board. For, wait, Mr. Burnett, hold on. What you're going to do first of all is read the prompt and then read what your uh, classmates wrote. If you think they wrote something that's wrong, you can put one line through it. Don't go like this. That way we can't read it. You know, just put one line through it so it's still legible. We can see what they wrote, but we can see what you thought was wrong. If somebody writes something that you think, that is amazing, you can star it or whatever. And then now we're going to go to two minutes, and you want to add so that at the end, when you get to all six boards, your color, like we want to see green, has the best comments on all six boards. It gets more difficult, obviously, with each rotation, but that's your focus. Does that make sense? Okay, so rotate to the next one, and you have two minutes. Keep your marker. Go. And hustle. <laughs> that was your hustle, Andrew? And this is your visual, guys. Is that the whole point of what you're trying to do with spark testing? You're trying to just identify different kinds of metals? Okay. What, can you read some of that? Maybe I'm pulling something out. Okay. So, 
Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you answer it yourself. Perfect. What? Yeah, yeah, because so you can whenever you whenever you look at like similarities and differences, so they have consumable electrodes as a similarity. So if you can build on that and give like specifics using vocabulary, that would be awesome. Um, differences, they, they, for instance, put stations or gas nodes. So if you could say like oxy weld uses this, stick uses that, does that make sense? So the point of this is try to prove how smart you are. Ah, take brown. <laughs> Thanks. I'll remember. Isn't that a good visual, though? Well, Don't you think that's a good visual? Yeah, yeah I didn't even know they could crack and couldn't even tell they were there, you know, kind of thing. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So if you're still able to add things at the, at the fifth wow. round, that's really a good sign. This is an activity of overthinking, though, so keep doing it. All right, last rotation. Go. Make sure you read through everything that's on the board first. All right, so if you guys look over here real quick, second years, I know you're, like some of you can't probably see it. So if you look at this, which of these diagrams did you think was, um, which of these like articles or diagrams did you think was most helpful? Can you comment on any? Go ahead. The diagram shows why I'm Like I had no idea the certain level of action. Handwriting. When we look at this one, let's use this one for an example. All right, so we have the five methods of control, and your um, this is the if-then statement. So if too much is acetylene, uh, acetylene, yes. thank you. If too much is acetylene, then you are carbonizing. Yes? Is that common knowledge, or is that insightful? That's common. That's common? Okay. How about if too hot through, if, if too slow, then you melt through. Common? Okay, so these are both common, common sense. But not to say it's bad, I'm just saying. Okay, if you don't, that's a C, that's a C. The arc is dead. All right, if you don't start the arc on the stick, then you can't start a well. That's not even That's, 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 not, even oxy that's fuel. not even common, that's obvious. That's okay. No, right. that's not even oxy fuel. That's for arc welding. Yeah. Well, that's okay, though. No, no that's, that's just about, that's, that's all oxy fuel. That's all that five methods of control is. Oh, it's this is specific yeah, to oxyfuel? Yeah. That's it. How many of you did not catch that? Well, that team didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, I asked that like you're going to yes, read it. I didn't catch so, so, this one's out, right? Yeah. So, my question is the teams that followed, nobody caught that. Yes, okay. So if, oh, I see what you're saying, like, we didn't catch it. So if you have oxidizing, then you have excess oxygen. Good statement? Yeah. yeah. Common? Okay. Yeah. If you don't add enough filler, then the well won't be strong enough. Common. Common? If your torch angle is off, then your weld will be off. You control where the weld goes. That's pretty good, though, don't you know? Uh, I think all of them were common. If you travel too fast, then you won't get enough penetration. Common? If you use too much oxygen, then you risk backfire. That seems like a good one. If you go too slow, the weld won't look clean until it'll cause a lot of buildup. All these are really common. Yeah, really common. Oh, that's all right. We won't, we won't no, take yeah. off points on there was no win in that one. <laughs> that's, that one's mine too. That's okay. So. That's all right. All right. So the green can't win this one. Um, but yeah. So do you see the point though? Is really like learning to use. I was hoping that you would use these like um, carburizing and oxidizing terms a little bit more. Or, but I think probably without having good instruction on this, where you are right now, these are probably good comments. Do you feel like? Yeah. All right, so while you are in the lab, I'm going to uh, put this together so that we can go through it. And I know you need to get out there and practice, but for right now, does that help you just kind of solidify where you are so far in the process? Sure.
Sure. Yes, okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for being good sports.